we've made it this far, probably one thing that bugs you is that we can't hot reload our reducers just yet. That means that we can open up a like photo component right here. And this is a component because it's a component, no problem to uh, re hot reload it. I can add something like hello and give it a save. And you'll see that immediately it will show up here without me having to refresh the page or really change around any of the existing stuff. But if I try to change a reducer like right here, um, Let's say for every person that likes, I want to have 10 likes. So I'll change that to 10. And it gives us this little warning here that says you can't, it can't hot update it or hot reload it. It needs to have a full refresh. So we give it a refresh. And now when I like it, it's going to go up by 10. Uh, but then I want to go back to one. It's going to yell at me for the exact same thing. So we can actually hot reload reducers just as we hot reload our components. And the way that we do that is you open up your store.js. And you need to accept the hot reload and you need to re-require the reducer. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, recompile the root reducer and swap it out inside of the store without us ever having to do a page refresh. So first of all, we check if the module is hot. Then we accept it. And we run a function that is going to re-require and swap out the module for us. So we're going we're gonna to grab it. And we use require here because you cannot use an ES6 import statement inside of a function. It must be done at top level. So we have to use the common JS require syntax that you may be used to from node or from or some earlier module loading. So we're going to require our main reducer, which is the top level index one. And if you don't remember that, let's, let's just take a quick look. This is the one that pulls in posts and comments and combines them into a root reducer. We're essentially going to re-require this whole thing and load it back in. And we have to type dot default on the end because we're using common JS syntax. And then finally, we just replace the entire reducer with store dot replace reducer. And we pass it our next root reducer. So give that a save. And now one last refresh. I'm going to go back into my photo. Uh, or sorry, my posts reducer here and change this to 10. And now when I like it, there we go. Change it. It went up to 66. Maybe I'll make it two. Now I click it again. It's going to go up to 68. I'm going to bring it back to 10. Now it should go to 78. Good. Now it is hot reloading our reducers. Um, and every single time that we make a change to it, it's going to be playing back all of the state changes on top of it. And then in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the Redux dev tools, which is going to help us visualize in time travel between all of this happening.